up. So we have a path here along the side of the house. We have all these sandstone tiles here that are laid down as stepping stones. And you can see they're all about all a bit crooked. So we're just going to go straighten all those up. Not, not too tough of a job, just a bit, a bit of labor intensive. And then I've got a few bags of stones, of pebbles, just with all these little blank spots here. Just going to throw a couple more pebbles down there and just fill it up, give it a nice, fresher look. Let's get to it. It's getting hot out here. All right, so that's about 20 minutes of busting my hump there. But, you know, I straightened out all the uh, all the uh, stones there, or all the uh, tiles, just to make it pretty symmetrical. Listen, it's not perfect. Don't need it to be perfect. We just need it to be, uh, you know, uh, visually pleasant, you know, for the buyers. When they come through, you don't have stones all skewed aside, all the different tiles. And it looks like there's a symmetrical piece. A symmetrical place for everything because some buyers are just like that that little thing and we don't want them to find that little thing so you know it looks neat and tidy now i'm gonna go get the pebbles and we're gonna lay some pebbles down <sighs> all right so laying the pebbles down spread them out so there's a ten dollar bag they're heavy in areas you know, fill it up. And another little tip for you guys, working outside on a hot day, like what is it right now? You got your hat, make sure you got a broom hat all the way around and wet it. Actually, literally throw it underneath the tap of the faucet. Get it all wet, get yourself a nice uh, dish cloth, wet it up, put it on the back of your neck, stop you from uh, having any heat stroke. Especially when you're an old bloke like me, you know, these little things really help out on a hot day. Now, like I said, we've already sorted out the other side of the house. Now this side's got a bit of um, stuff just lying about, so we're just going to clean up all that debris, make it so there's a clear passage all the way through. Now guys, here's some other thing too that I found, you know, when I was actually doing the cleanup around the house. Now it's an old um, a, a bait for, for mice and, and stuff around the area. If you see something like this at your house that you have lying around, get rid of it. Yeah. Okay. Like I said, this is an old trap, it's probably sitting around for 10 years and nobody's paid any, any never mind to it. But uh, one thing you definitely don't want to have lying around when uh, the buyers come through. Okay, so a few more tidy ups at the front of the house because once again, it's the first thing they're gonna see. We got the columns to the front of the house over the garage, just a bit dirty, dusty, a bit manky. We're gonna actually put a, uh, a good old pool brush on it so I can reach to the top, get underneath the eaves up top there, get all the spider webs off, go across, I'll clean those up nice. You can see Karen did a great job in the planter box painting it up. And then we got all the light fittings up top there. I'll uh, give them all the paint, bring them up fresh. And uh, let's see what happens. Remember, this is the first thing a buyer sees when they actually come into the place. They drive up the drive, okay? So we want to make sure it's, it's as good as can be without going too crazy.